नमस्कार तो इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेचर ऑफ ग्राफ ऑफ अ पॉलिनोमियल फंक्शन ओके एंड वी आर गोइंग टू विजुअलाइज ऑल द ग्राफ ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल हाउ दे डिफर ईच स्टेप बाय स्टेप व्हेन द डिग्री डिफर्स व्हेन द कांस्टेंट टर्म्स डिफर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो सो वी कैन सी दैट वी हैव अ ग्राफ एंड फॉर Visualizing all these things, I am going to use a tool. It's a web tool called Desmos, where I can write equation and it will generate my graph. Okay, so as you can see that it is a graph of x plus five. Okay, basically this is a graph. This canvas will show the graph, and this is a graph of y equals to x plus five. You can see it clearly here. Okay, so. When we observe this, we can see that it is intersecting at two point, right? So this is basically y equals to five, and this is equal, basically x equals to minus five, right? So if you put these two values, right? If you put y equals to five, then what will you get? X equals to zero, right? And when you put x equals to minus five. You will get y equals to zero, right? So that's how it will intersect these both axes. Okay, and one thing which we have to observe here that it is a graph of degree one, right? It is a polynomial of degree one, and any polynomial with degree one will have graph will have graph as a straight line. Straight line. Okay, so all the polynomials with degree one will have a straight line graph. Okay, so now let's see a interesting behavior here. Okay, so and it is a graph of x plus five. Okay, now I just changes the sign of x. Okay, I just change the sign of x, and you observe something, right? The graph got changed right? from this to this. So what is basically this? This is basically when a got negative, a is less than zero. Okay, where y equals to a x plus b. If a is negative, the graph will go downward. Okay, and if a is positive, x plus b. Okay, and a is positive, then graph will go upward. Basically, not basically go this way, right? From down to up. Okay. Down to up, and you can observe this change clearly, right? You can observe this change clearly when x is positive, this graph is going upward, okay, from downward to upward, and when I applied minus, this will go upward to down, okay. Now let's move to our, our next graph that is of degree two, that is the graph of x square, okay? So we can see here it is a graph of x square, okay. This is a graph of y equals to x square, and you can see something. It is like a Q structure, right? Where it is touching at zero, right? So all the polynomials, okay, all the polynomials which have degree two, which have degree two, will make U shape, okay? Will make U. Shape okay, so where y equals to a x square plus b okay, so it will make basically u shape okay, and basically it will touches one point okay, and just go back okay, it will came like this, touched at this point and went back okay. Now let's observe some changes here too. Also. What if I do a negative? What if I did? You can observe it clearly. That graph will got changed, right? Graph changed from this to this. Okay. So here, basically, here also we can observe that for y equals to a x square plus b. Okay. If a is less than zero, 
a is less than 0 the graph is basically downward okay the graph is basically downward you can see it clearly okay this is the graph of y equals to minus x square and it is a downward graph okay and when y is equal to a x square plus b and a is greater than 0 it was something like this if you remember right so basically graph is upward facing okay the mouth of the u is facing downward if a is less than 0 and it will face upward if a is greater than 0 okay this is the clear difference you can see here okay now what if i add some constant here okay we had that x square graph let's make that x square graph and now i added just x square plus some constant 3 right this uh, let me write it that this is the graph of y equals to x square and this is the graph of y equals to x square plus 3 so i saw here that it went three steps up right three steps okay so you can see it clearly then how we will be going to form this graph okay if we have y equals to x square plus 10 then how we will going to form we know that yeah this will be something like this right so this is the nature we are observing and keep this thing observing as when we move further we are going to notice some interesting pattern using which we can draw complex to complex graphs okay so now let's move to our, our next graph that is a graph of a quadratic equation okay we have graph of quadratic equation this is the y y equals to x square plus 5x plus 2 graph okay and you can see some something it has two points of intersection okay this is x axis you very well know and this is y axis okay so as i had said if degree is 2 it will make a u shape graph right and a is basically here greater than 0 so it will face upward yeah you will face upward okay you have face upward so here we can see that this time it's touching somewhere here and bouncing back okay so basically it it intersecting x axis which we are at two points and if you remember the solution of a quadratic equation solution of a quadratic equation what it have two solutions remember we have two solutions of a quadratic equation okay that uh, basically the solution is equals maximum solution of a polynomial is equal to the how what is the maximum degree it has right so it has two degrees so it will have basically two solutions maximum okay so we can see that it has also the intersecting point is two here we have two intersecting points and if you notice this both these points are basically the solutions of this graph okay so the solutions is nothing but the intersecting points okay intersecting points of that graph okay so it is clear i guess now let's move toward our x cube graph yeah cubic graph okay let's move toward our cubic graph and this is a graph of y equals to x cube okay and here also you can see a pattern and the pattern is what basically this graph is going this from bottom to up and just taking a fold here taking a fold here just like a wave okay and this is basically this point is basically what this point is zero right so the cubic graph any of the graph with degree 3 okay will show this behavior this this type of behavior okay it comes from somewhere just take this turn and go this okay so cubic graph has this behavior okay this kind of pattern okay now let's do some experiment on this graph okay so i have x cube plus 5 x cube plus 5 and you can see that the graph intersecting point will go up right this will get up by 5 okay and but the behavior is same from this way to this way. 
okay now let's do some more experiment on this and what i do just let's did a negative sign here okay just i change the a with minus a okay i change the a with minus a. so y equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d right this is a cubic polynomial so if i did a less than zero then this graph is basically from coming from upward and going downward but having the same behavior okay this graph is coming from up to down basically this is a decreasing graph decreasing graph okay when a is less than zero and this is a increasing graph increasing graph when a is greater than zero okay and you can clearly notice the behavior how this behavior so basically this will come this way and just take a fold and go this way just like a wave right now let's move toward our next that is the degree four okay and you can see something here it is showing just like a, a polynomial graph of degree two if you remember we have when we had degree two when we had degree two we had got some u shape u shape and here also we are getting, getting u shape okay so what is the difference between the, uh, both the graph right so here we can observe a simple thing that is you see when we had the graph of x square it was something like just touched a point and went, go back right and here you can observe it is also touching the point but you can see this well, okay, this is basically a flat where it touching, it's getting flat for some time and then get up, right? It came this way, become some flat and then went up. But if we remember the x square thing, it is uh, it was not like a uh, that uh, flat thing. If you go back and uh, I just you can see the clear difference here. Okay, you can see the clear difference here. Let's zoom it out. Okay, and you see this. Basically, this was the graph of x square and this is the graph of x bar 4. And you can see this flatness here, which is not in the case of x square graph. Okay, so as the power increase, the graph get flat. Okay. What if I just increase the power more? Okay, so let's I uh, let me increase the power four to six, four to eight, and four to nine, ten. You can see the when as the power increasing evenly, the graph is getting flatter that at that point. Okay, so we can clearly observe that if we get a uh, quadratic polynomial of uh, which have degree even number, so we know that how to perform that thing okay now what if i just add a constant okay i just added a constant okay x so this is our graph okay this is our graph of x y equals to x ki power 4 plus 6x y equals to x ki power 4 plus 6x okay so here you can see this same pattern okay what if okay so now let's see the cubic graph once again okay basically the same pattern it is going to follow but uh, this is the graph of x cube x cube y equals to x cube plus x plus 2. Okay, this is the graph. Okay, we have uh, the solution. If we, you find a solution, we will get y equals to 2 as a solution of it. Okay, so this is the way we are getting this thing. Okay, so I think you are clear with the pattern forming when we increase the power. So let's take a graph and just try some experiment. Okay, so this is the graph and this I just uh, started with power one okay so power one will show this nature i increase the power this will show this nature 
I just increased it more power. It is a cubic graph with having this curve like a stru structure. This power four graph. This is the power five graph. This is the power six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So from here, you can observe something, and that is basically. I just enable the square view both the graphs and let you know something interesting something that the if the degree if the degree is even if the degree is even the graph is not going to intersect basically not going to bisect that axis x axis okay it's not bisecting intersecting the x axis but only touching when the degree is even, it's only touching, not bisecting. Okay, but when the degree is odd, it's basically intersecting the x-axis. Okay, so it is the clear observation that if we have a graph of even degree, then it will intersect the x-axis. Uh, it will just touch the x-axis. But if we have graph of degree odd, then it will intersect the axis. Okay, now. Let's see some graph like this. Okay. So basically it is a graph of X plus five okay, into X plus nine. Okay. So this is a graph of Y equals to X plus five into X plus nine. Okay. And you can see this is basically five minus and this is basically minus nine. Okay. And you can see the graph clearly that this is coming from this going up. It is an increasing graph. Okay. And what if I just change the sign x plus 5 to x minus 5? Okay. The same thing. Okay. So x plus 5 is this and x plus minus 5 is this. Okay. Basically the distance between 5 and 9 increased. Okay. That was the minus 5 and now this is the plus five okay and what if i just keep it minus and just multiply with minus okay i just multiplied that thing uh, that graph with minus okay so now we have equation as y equals to minus of x plus five and x plus nine and you can see this this graph is starting from here and going downward here intersecting at two point okay so we saw this object we have this observation that if y is negative if y is negative the graph is starting from downward a graph is basically starting from negative okay so it is a observation we made that if the y is negative then graph will start from minus okay and what if i just do this okay the same thing okay now let's get a new graph okay this is the graph and you can see the equation here okay this is the highlighted uh, i will highlight this okay so this is the equation and you can see the graph of it okay you can see this graph that uh, the equation is basically y equals to x plus 5 x plus 9 and x plus 7 so we have x plus 5 x plus 9 and so we will have basically three, three solutions and so we get three intersecting point right and the value is basically positive so the graph will be increasing okay the graph will be increasing so this will start from here intersected just turn, take the turn and go upward okay so basically this is like this came here to intersect and okay so you can understand, uh, I think you are now getting the point how the graph is basically working. And what if I just put the power, I just, I did what? I just put a square, okay, I just put the square at x plus 9 and you can see this. Okay, you can see this, the square behavior. And this point, this point of intersection is basically what? Minus 9, right? 
and we have our graph as y x plus 5 x plus 9 square x plus 7 okay so we have 9 square and you know that if we have a square then it will show you like behavior okay it will not inter uh, basically intersect but it just touch and go back okay so it came here touches this go up and then we have this 5 okay uh, i guess no no we have this this point is basically minus 7 okay this point is minus 7 so here we have degrees 1 so it intersected and again go, went back and we had minus 5 so it again just intersected what if i just do uh, uh, a square let's put a square on x plus 5 you can see this again here again here as it was the square it it didn't intersected it just touched just touched and went back okay so i can think that uh, like i guess that you know how to graph basically your polynomial i think i uh, like i can now say that how to graph your polynomial right 